and we are live in Whaley Bridge at the reservoir watching a drop off. This is Toddbrook Dam in Whaley Bridge. Twenty four hours before evacuation. Whilst the majority of people were going in and coming out, then there were some who were going back to their homes and staying there um, and that then they're having to have first responders go and check on them and if the dam does, uh, does fail and there's still a risk that that could happen then other people's lives would be put at risk to try and get those people out. They have brought the Chinook back from the RAF base down south simply to um, for extra measures because there's a storm due tonight. It was really scary being evacuated and being told that we had to leave. Um, it just seems like it just seems like a disaster film. It doesn't seem like it's actually happening. We are live at Toddbrook Reservoir in Whaley Bridge. Any more updates, we will um, come live. This has recently been brought back from the RAF base down south. As you can see, it's heading towards the banking. They've got oh, 12 big pumps going and about nine smaller pumps, so it's coming down a level of about 10 centimetres an hour. And really good people is fixing it. Remember the lads and um, women from the RAF and all emergency services, including the fire service, mountain rescue, the police, every single person that has been on board this operation over the past couple of days it's been incredible the work that has gone into securing this dam will be officers patrolling and also a drone going around patrolling for any movement uh, that's being monitored and then it can be followed up on we're just broken and we're staying here because we're really just broken and to fix people fixing it and we're very happy I would just like to say thank you so much for the support over the last couple of months. Our journey started off here at Toddbrook when we were reporting live to give um, the local people, people around the country, people around the world updates. 